Well, hello, everybody. This is Sharon back at you once again. And my co-host, the one and only Jamal. Oh, thank God you are one and only. But anyway, we're, I'm thinking about starting a series called Stupid, Black, and Useless. And Dumb in America. Stupid, Black, well, they, Dumb, they didn't Useless. Pass, they didn't pass Dumb, they're stupid. <laughs> oh, they're stupid. Stupid, black, and useless in America. And it's going to focus on all the stupid things that black people do. That some of us black people that do. That sabotage themselves and end themselves up in prison and dead. Now, I, I already did a, a video about that that black dude in Chicago got shot 96 times in 41 Second, didn't nobody like that video. Mm -hmm. It just got 13 views. You know that? Yeah. And and for the record, when you start your own show, you start it how you want to start it. Okay, Mm -hmm. let's not be petty. (laughs) Yeah, I'm going to be petty. If you don't like it, go ahead. I mean, 13 views, doesn't nobody care. Hey, it is is what it is. Well, anyway, uh, I was told not to... Uh, uh, talk about the video before it starts, but hey, you know I'm I'm a rebel. Mm-hmm. Um, this is we're talking about. Where was this Atlanta? Yeah, Atlanta. We got this from Atlanta Five News. Yeah, I mean Atlanta Fox News, Atlanta Fox Five. Yeah, I mean uh, they out here shooting like they did on Gunsmoke. They mm-hmm. must they must think they Matt Dillon. <laughs> I hear just shooting everybody. Well, these Matt and Dillon need some shooting lessons because evidently they can't shoot. Well, yeah, uh, Matt Dillon, they have no problem shooting people. But uh, here we go. We're going we're gonna to show the video. And then we'll, we'll come back. It's not a very long video, so we'll, we'll come back. Bullets flying at a Decatur gas station. Three innocent bystanders caught in the crossfire, leaving an entire community in total shock. That was absolutely crazy. I couldn't believe that. It was like old cowboy style shooting. And breaking right now, an arrest. Within the last 30 minutes, we learned that police have arrested 34 year old Darius Morris, mm. charging him. Look at that. At- Look at this. Always oh, looks like always. Stupid, <laughs> black, and useless. If you're going to get arrested, at least hit the person you, you, you pow pow on that. <laughs> Stupid, black, and useless. I mean, that that was a wasted night of passion. Now you go going to prison, and you didn't hurt nobody except some innocent Boston. Well, that's where that that's where animals need to be in the zoo. Yeah. At least, at least hurt the people you going after. <laughs> when you, you you either lock the animal up or you shoot it. I mean, you know, this this, this doesn't make no sense. Uh, black people get their hands on guns and they go crazy. They go crazy. I mean, 50, 100, 160 years away from slavery and we still ain't got no sense. Still can't act right. Uh, still running around like animals. I mean, that, that's why the, that's why the white man had to put in put in, put this thumb on you the, and beat you with whips to get you to make put fear and get you to act right because he knew if he let you let you run free, this is what this is what we do. That's what you do. <laughs> I play some more. Prevented assault. We're glad you're with us at noon. I'm Rick Fulbaum. And I'm Lana Harris. Let's get right out to Atlanta News First reporter Rebecca Stram. Rebecca, this is a sad day for our city. I know you are live on Candler Road near McAfee Road right now. Clearly the shooters miss each other, but they ended up hitting three bystanders. Mm. What can you tell us about this? That's exactly right, Lana. And I want to start with a warning. If you are watching this and you have kids in the room, you might want to usher them out because what you're about to see is a little bit on the disturbing side. Let, let me start with this. I want to show you, this is just one of the bullet holes we're seeing right here in this glass at the front of the store. And now walk over here with me because this is very interesting. There is a bullet stuck in the wall. Everybody around here is talking about what happened here last night right after sunset. Mm. That was absolutely crazy. I couldn't believe that. Larry Etchison is talking about the video captured the night before at the Circle K on Candler Road where he often stops. One guy dives for cover <laughs> inside as a shootout unfolds outside. Mm. It was like old cowboy style shooting. 
People didn't care. Caught in the middle, bystanders, customers going about their routines. This car's windows are shattered as bullets <laughs> pierce it. This man's Jeep starts smoking as he struggles to bail out to run to safety. Inside, more customers duck for cover. The shooters seem to have no concern for anyone in the way of their targets. Kids don't care no more. Hey. Mm. They just pull up. They got semi-automatic weapons and still can't hit the target. Well, let's thank God that they couldn't. I mean, you know, they probably shooting their animals like them, but this is crazy. I mean, mm -hmm. you know what Joe Joe Biden said about black people? What was that? Joe Biden said, that's why we send people in their homes to teach them uh, how to be a family because they don't know. They don't right. know how to be a family. So we send people in there to teach them. See, uh, see what Joe Biden thinks? Yep. Yeah. And if you go vote for a man who don't give a flying flip about he said you too stupid to, to run a family. <laughs> I mean, that, that basically what it is. That we send people in the home to teach them because they don't know no better. They don't know no better. As if yeah. you're talking about children. Well, we're getting a little bit slightly off the of topic here. Well, no, not stupid, black, and useless yeah. in America. Joe Biden then said you, you stupid, black, and useless in America, and you have to send white people into your home to teach you how to be decent family people. Well, let's get back on to what happened in Atlanta. Now, these senseless, dumb monkeys. How you got a gun? You can't even shoot at your own target. <laughs> This is that how you focus on? You go shoot at the bystanders, but you can't hit your own people you going at. Is that all you focus yes, on? Yes, I that am. They can't hit each other. <laughs> that's like um, that's like a bunch of it is high on cocaine trying to shoot somebody. But no, this this is what this is what black uh, uh, the communities are like. We have not learned with it. It's as if we can't comprehend. Some of us, not all of us. Well, okay. The, uh, well, that's that's how about people in the low income community, and that's where a lot of the craziness coming from. We act like we cannot put two thoughts together. We 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 just act. We emotional creatures. We we don't we can't analyze anything. We can't think through anything. I mean, you know, we, we live for the moment. Who cares about tomorrow? Let's live for the day. And you know. In in a way, maybe Joe Biden was right. We 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 don't have no sense. We don't know how to do nothing. We we need white people to come in the house and and teach us how to live, so we won't be like animals. This is animal stuff. Well, let's play some more. A gun like we used to fight with fists, they fight with guns now. One bystander was grazed by a bullet and treated for his wounds at the scene. Two other bystanders were taken to the hospital with injuries that police said didn't appear to be too serious. <laughs> On this day after the shooting, glass litters the parking lot. Store patrons tell us they're glad the Cab County now requires gas stations to have surveillance cameras. Edgison says he was skeptical at first about that ordinance. And I was saying, it's not going to work. Yes, it is. We need to put more. Every new place open need cameras. And taking a live look at all the cameras this gas station has, I just spoke with the manager here, and he tells me before that ordinance went into effect, they only had a couple of cameras, but nothing like this. That video from last night should be very helpful for detectives as they search for three more suspects. If you recognize any of the shooters in that video, you're asked to call DeKalb County Police. Live along Candler Road, Rebecca. Oh, I mean, you can't, you can't even stop getting that gas. You can't get gas no more. You can't. I mean, your head got to be on a swivel mm -hmm. while you getting gas. Can't get gas or snacks. You, you, can't, you can't go in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. you, you, you can't do anything. You got your head got to be on a swivel no, no matter where you go. But they some stupid, black, useless person lottering around the corner. Waiting to do something mischievous. Now, previously, the black lady says it's a sad day in our city. When is it not a sad, sad day in Atlanta? Something always going on. Because you got a lot of stupid, black, and useless people in Atlanta. And so you're going to always have a lot of stupid things 
being done. I mean, these people don't care anything about their future. They don't care anything about their life. They don't care anything about nobody else's life. I mean, I mean, what to do? Get up in the morning and think, oh, well. I got to make the news today. I think I'll go do something stupid. Let me see. Who can I shoot? Uh, who can I rob? You know, who can I rape? I mean, this is this is stupid. There's always it, this day is not the only sad day in Atlanta. Every day is a sad day in Atlanta. Every day, and and, and you know the, the thing about it, you know, you, you you can't do anything about the animals that you these single mothers already produce. But women, we have the power to stop this. All these babies. Coming into the world that you don't want, you you can't afford, and you can't take care of, and the man don't want, and the man don't want to talk to you. See now, back in the slavery days, oh well, they 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 encouraged women to have babies on top of babies, and and they they encouraged men not to be family members, and men were just donors. Because they need some need to keep a steady flow of people working in the fields, so and we're still doing the same thing that we did on the plantation 160 years ago. We're still just dropping babies like flies, and men still irresponsible running away from them because you know a white man taught them that on the plantation, taught the ancestors that on the plantation. So is there a gene? Inside these men and women to just drop babies with no purpose and no reason and no rhyme. Well, let's fast forward back to 160 years of present. We don't want to go back that far. We're still doing what we're doing. Hey, we ain't no. It is what it is. It ain't happening. No, no. Ain't no going to change. But it can change if we 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 don't have to produce slaves no more. And you know, good and well, you can't take care of baby. You sitting there waiting for. Waiting for the government to hand you out a two hundred dollar check and about five hundred dollar food stamp, depending on how many kids you got, and 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 that uh, welfare and Medicaid and WIC, you, and you sitting there on your good for nothing, lazy, stupid black butt, waiting for the mail to come every month. Well, they don't send in the mail no more. They put it on cards. Boy, and... Let's go back and talk about this well, situation. This is what we're talking about. Uh, you keep going off this, subject. No, no, it's not. This is the, you see, who, who is doing all this shit? Black people. Oh, you talk about so, you talk about welfare and food stamps in the last video. And we got to keep talking about it. As long as the government keep oh, passing God. out welfare, food stamps, and Medicaid, and nobody going to do nothing. They going to keep sitting around dropping babies. Mm-hmm. So they can keep getting those checks. And this is what you get. They little babies grow up to do this and be this. Menace to the society. Useless. Good for nothing. Well, uh, let's say one of the guys' name, what's the name? Demaris or Demarcus? Stupid. <laughs> With a name like that, you should know he's gonna do something wrong. <laughs> Even from a single parent household from the projects. And that's what that's why he do what he do. He got low. He, I ain't gonna say he got low intelligence, but he's acting like he got low intelligence. Mm-hmm. Intelligence because he can't. He can't think. He can't reason. He 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 don't have any ambition. His only ambition in life is to kill, kill steal, and, and destroy. destroy. Yeah. And every 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 time one of those kind of people put their hands on something, they destroy it. Nothing good comes out of it. Then you got the mama sitting around, oh, he was a good boy. <laughs> yeah, okay, you're a good boy, all right. You're a good boy, but you going around shooting up things. Killing people, <laughs> robbing, stealing, uh, smoking, and using drugs, and drinking, hanging on the corner, but you a good boy. You a smart boy. You, you, you smart. Mamas love you. And before we finish, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't be afraid to hit that button. It ain't going to cost you a thing. Not a thing. It ain't going to cost you nothing, but women can stop this. You know, the monsters are already here now, but you don't have to create no more monsters. All you do is keep, keep them bloomers on. 
if you if you can't keep those bloomers on, go get some birth control pills. This this don't make no sense. You keep having all the baby. Some some woman um was talking about oh men men just interested in making women baby mamas. And the man told us, well, if you want something different, then do something different. The man that they marry you and keep your and don't give up the goods until you get a ring on your finger. But they don't do that. Then then you go try to blame the black man and say they ain't no good. Then what they saying about you? I ain't saying too much, but we're going a little too far in this video. No, we ain't. We ain't going far enough. I mean, uh, uh, as long as you don't talk about it, the uh, thing going to keep being like it been. I mean, you, you, these women out here dropping their panties and too trifling and too lazy, too good for nothing to go get some birth control pills so they stop bringing babies in here. I mean, th th this don't make no sense. And this, and you, and you wonder why the cops like to shoot you. This is why they like to shoot you and kill you, because you're stupid, black, and useless in America. And and nobody wants you around. And they figure they kill as many black men as they can, then they can't produce no black babies. They can't produce no more black monsters. Well, the police don't have to do it no more. We're doing it to ourselves. Yeah. And and now police are getting away with it. Don't well. nobody care about I mean, look at look at that boy got shot ninety six times. Oh, uh, speaking on that, I did some more research, and there were four police officers that got fired. They got fired. Yep. They ain't pressed no charges. No. I said that, that's why they don't have no problem kicking your tail, beating you up, because they want to get rid of you. See, back back when you were slave, they wanted you to do that, but now they they ain't nothing they can do with you. Now you 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 are you're a burden on society. The prisons are full of you, and you and they now they had to build more prisons and more prisons. I mean, when will it end? Nah, nah, who knows? But this is the the second episode, young, dumb, and black in America. Yeah, I mean, yeah. women, y'all, you can't blame the men for this, women, unless they raping you. You cannot blame men for this madness. Because you are doing it yourself. You're so hot in the butt. And you don't have sense enough to respect yourself and have no morals and values. And make these men wait until you get married. Put a ring on that finger before you start dropping loads. Then men use you. You're using yourself. You picking the pookies and ray rays. You, you have no respect for yourself. You have no value for yourself. Evidently, you think you're useless and worthless. That's why you keep hanging around with these useless and worthless men. If you, I mean, you know, how, how can you, then you had these women to, I look at one man with six figures. Six figures. You can't even spell six <laughs> figures. And you want you you think a man gonna want you what, what you bring to the table yeah. but your worn out useless old old coochie that been ran up in and flipped over and you and he can get that anywhere. You sure can. What do you want you for? I mean, if you want somebody to make six figures, then you gotta make six figures because he don't need you. And I'll bring them all self to the table. That that thing down there is worn out. How many people have ran through that? How many how many bodies have you got? And and all all you can do is spread your legs. You can't do nothing else. Who wants you? You got to keep giving yourself to these pookies, and you keep bringing these monsters into the world that have no ambitions, no goals, nothing. All they want to do is shoot, kill, rob. Get high, run the streets, and do nothing. So this, 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 you know, this really ticks me off. This really ticks me off that we don't have any more sense than this. We have no values. We have nothing. Low morals. No value. We ain't trying to do nothing. I mean, you sit around and let them get rid of affirmative action because you weren't using it anyway. So what you need affirmative action for? You you won't go to school anyway. So what they need that on the books for? So I mean, and you no, know, I know people gonna get upset about this, 
But open your eyes and look around. The truth is the truth. So like I said, get, you know, hit that like button. And go over there and, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, if you're watching the videos, you ain't, you're not subscribed. Why? Subscribe. Leave us a comment. Leave us a comment. And let me know, am I wrong? Am I wrong for thinking this way? Uh, no. It's, am I wrong? Well, until next time, people do better. They ain't going to do better. This generation, we've got now, they not going to do no better. We, we got to we gotta start a number, uh, kindergartners. We just start working with them and try to put some value into them because these monsters that they got now, these from teens on up, they, they don't have no sense. They, they all they know is guns and triggers, okay? So, okay, well, I I said my piece. I get off my soapbox because I can sit here and talk all day about these about this stupidity. Until next time, people, we out.